Well, Europe's major satellite provider, UTELSAT, is determined to force Iranian channels off the air in Europe and Asia. In a letter obtained by Press TV, the company's Israeli French CEO, Michel de Rosen, has threatened a number of satellite companies to pull the plug on Iranian channels are faced the consequences. He threatened these companies with asset freeze and travel bans to the U.S. if they refuse to take his order. The satellite provider started its anti-Iran campaign last October when it stopped the broadcast of more than a dozen Iranian channels on hot bird frequencies. Since then, the company has been frequently targeting Iranian channels, especially Press TV and Hispan TV. You tell Sat Hausto measure against Iranian media is viewed by many analysts as a coordinated act on free speech. Let's switch over to New York. We're joined by a senior analyst of foreign policy and focus, Mr. Ian Williams. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, let's start at the beginning. Uh, how do you think that they are able to, to get away with this situation? Because it definitely seems uh, obviously like an attack on, on free speech. So looking at the legality or the lack thereof, let's start from there. Um, well, I suspect it's illegal, but... Uh Remember, there's a difference between European and American attitudes and legalities. Even the U.S. Uh, respects uh, the, the First Amendment, the guarantee of free speech, is very seriously taken in America. So even at the height of sanctions, they allowed uh, Cuban and Iranian news agencies to operate in the United States, for example. Uh, they are completely opposed to pre-censorship. But the European attitude has been uh, to... Very, very much too, that there are dangerous items of speech. Uh, of, course, Press TV that, has, of course, Press TV has also been taken off uh, the satellite in the United States. But go ahead, Mr. Williams. Yes, but the, the, what these, these are sort of, let's say, private decisions rather than government ones. And, and to, to invoke legality here is just furious. That This is a particular partisan agenda being pursued. Uh, and anyone who is in support of free speech and democracy has really got to protest. Uh, it's, up to, it, it's up to these satellites to allow free communications and allow people to make up their own minds to judge the quality of press TV coverage as against CNN or Reuters or Russia Today or any of the others. It's not up to them to decide what people can see and hear and listen to. Uh, and basically, they're saying that we're cleverer than you and we know what's best for you. And I think consumers and viewers and readers don't like that as a general rule. Well, let's look at the repercussions right now. You're saying that uh, basically they're trying to make the decision of what people can and cannot look, and basically they have done that. Uh, do you think, though, that it's likely to backfire on them as news spread, at, at least if it is spreading without Press TV uh, being on the air in a lot of these uh, uh, places, uh, as the word spreads of what's going on, is it likely, though, to backfire on them? Well, I don't know how likely, but it's very possible that these the people that they're threatening sanctions to, they know that the sanctions they're threatening are completely, uh, you know, the U.S. government is not going to enforce sanctions against people for broadcasting material, uh, for broadcasting information. What is likely to happen is these people will start looking for alternatives. And in general, across the world, if you find that you can't rely on someone, that you that, that these people are likely to switch things off for partisan political purposes, then they will look for an alternative and there will be more satellites going up there which will bypass these people. Uh, that, that's, that's been the situation everywhere else and it's likely to happen here as well. Why do you think, just one minute we have left though, Mr. Williams, why do you think at the very uh, outset, what is it that they fear from, from a station like, like Press TV? We know that they have many, many stations, lots of assets. So what is it that they fear uh, from a station like Press TV? Well, <laughs> you could say that they're scared of a, that they're scared of a different viewpoint. Uh, and also, it certainly seems with uh, Mr. Rosen, the head of this, that He's trying to score points with uh, the Israel lobby and with Israel and say, look, here I am bashing Iran. And certainly, you know, in America, within, with the Israel lobby, uh, bash, bashing Iran is always going to get you points, whether or not your, your, your bashing is accurate or well-founded. Okay. Uh, these people will applaud anything. 
All right, well, thank you so much for being with us out of New York. Senior Analyst, Foreign Policy and Focus, Mr. Ian Williams.